Orava Castle is a beautiful 13th century medieval castle located above the village of Orava Castle, about 10 kilometers from the Slovak county town of Dolny Kubin near the Polish-Slovak border. The castle is built on a rock massif, rising to a height of 112 meters and crowned with sharp ridges. The rocks served as a natural protection for the castle, which has never been captured or destroyed by the armed forces since its foundation. The hill is surrounded by the Orava River. It can be assumed that it began to be built, like many other castles in Slovakia, after the Mongol invasion in 1241. The fortress was built to secure the northern border of the country and protected the vital trade route to Poland. For centuries, the castle was the seat of the county of Ava, Orava district. The first written information about the Orava castle dates back to 1267, when it was owned by the Balish family, but it was given to King Below IV and its governors became court castellans. In 1298 the lands around the castle came under the sovereign rule of Matuszczuk, whose possessions stretched in western and central Slovakia to the fortress of Szomyszka on the present-day border between Slovakia and Hungary. In 1314, however, it again became a royal possession and came under the direct control of the Counts of Zvolen, the most prominent of whom was Master Donch. By Donch, a Zupen of Zvolen and the largest Slovak nobleman during the reign of Charles I of Hungary. After the transfer of Donch to Komono in the 30s of the 14th century, the castellans in the castle changed many times. Some of them also held the Zupan office, which was associated with the promotion of the castle to the role of the capital of the county. In 1441 Polish nobleman Peter Komorowski became a castellan and his first order was to replace all wooden parts of the castle structure with stone ones. The interests of Wadislaw III of Poland were defended in Orawa by the Piat Komorowski. The crew under his command survived all the sieges of Giskra's units from Moravia. After the death of the king in Varna in 1444, Komorowski joined Giskra, along with him fighting against John Hunyadi and later Matthias Corvinus, eventually gaining in 1458 the offices of the Orava and Liptov Zupan. When a part of the Hungarian nobility in 1471 proclaimed king of the Polish Prince Casimir, Komorowski joined the rebels. The rebellion was suppressed and the rebels' possessions confiscated. He took great care to strengthen the castle and ten years later with a royal donation he became a full owner. In 1474, Komorowski sold the Orava castle to King Matthias Huniadi Corwin. In 1536 the castle and its adjoining lands became the property of Jan Dubovsky, who undertook large-scale construction and strengthening of the fortification system. Bastions were built, the second gate and the second palace with a drawbridge in the middle of the castle, which today bears his name. After Dubovsky's death, the castle was managed by Vaclav Sedlenicki, and in 1556 passed into the hands of Terzo, a representative of one of the richest Slovak families in the 15th and 16th centuries. The Terzo family received the castle as a royal gift, and three years later Juraj Terzo was appointed governor of the Kingdom of Hungary. After his death in 1616, the family estates and the title of Count of Orava were given to his successor Imrich, but he died young in 1626 and left no descendants. Thus Juraj Terzo's vast estates were inherited by his seven daughters and their husbands. They form a family union and elect governors of lands and castles. In the 17th century, troubled times came in the Orava region, due to the uprisings against the Habsburgs, armed forces settled permanently in the area, looting the homes of serfs. In 1672, a large-scale peasant uprising broke out in Oravu under the leadership of Gaspapika, as a result of which Orava Castle was also besieged. The uprising was brutally suppressed. In 1683, Jan Sobiski's troops, who went to war with the Ottoman Empire, crossed the Orava and burned 25 villages to the ground. As early as 1800, the worst disaster in the history of the castle occurred, when a large fire broke out in the middle and lower part. At the end of the 19th century, 
Under the rule of Joseph Paul Fee, some architectural reconstructions took place in the castle. Between 1898 and 1914 the Gothic ornaments of the palaces in the middle were restored and the furniture in the premises was renewed. In 1968 it was declared a museum and opened for visits, thus becoming one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. Many scenes of the 1922 film Nosferatu were filmed here, the castle representing Count Orlok's Transylvanian castle, in their 2020 TV adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel Dracula, Mark Gattis and Stephen Moffat also used Orava as their castle Dracula. Orava Castle served as the filming location for the 2000 film, Dragonheart, A New Beginning. It was also used by the Polish video game company CD Projekt as inspiration for the fictional Kaya Morhen, Fortress for the Witches of the Wolf School in NZ Sapkowski's The Witcher book series. Van Helsing's season 5 was filmed on that location.